Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. It have been a long time to actually able to reach alloy level one, and really it have been extremely struggling to be making it. But once we're making it, it's actually opening more directions to be able to get strength for the beasts, for the troops, for everything in the game. Today we're going to talk about the two new buildings that is available for the alloy level one and above what they are about and everything related to them. So make sure to watch till the end if you're interested in finding more information about these two buildings. So we're starting with the first one going to be the alloy refinery. This one here is a building that where we can be exchanging resources to be able to get liquid alloy. And it's five for day. And if we check over here, in the alloy refinery, you can consume materials to refine and get liquid alloy. And the number of refinements per day is fixed at five. And this number is dressed at midnight every day. The amount of material required for each refinement varies based on the refined time. So the more we do, the more amount of resources going to be needing to consume for this one. And the next building going to be the alloy lab. This one is where we're going to be able to get even more stats for the beasts and the troops after we max everything in the beast lab. Beast lab here, it's just, you know, like if going there, then uh, it's including the beast talent, of course, and it's including the hunting tech. This one here, it's just, that's the last one of it. It's the troop HP. Once we're done with this one, then it will be time to work and focus on the alloy lab. This one here is where it's more divided into each type of beasts or troops available in the game. We have in the rider, the fighter, now the rider here, the fighter, and we have in the ranged. Each one of them is focusing on just that type. If we check over here, the first one for the ranged one, it's including the troop capacity. It's going to be increasing the command and the mighty as well. And it's, you know, it's helping to be increasing the command to be making it even more stronger. And you can see over here, the marching capacity going to be increased and the mighty going to be increased as well. And the level cap is level five. To be upgrading or researching this one, we're going to be needing a special material, which is this one over here, the alloy particle. This one we can be getting it from multiple areas. We're starting with the one in here, the alloy particle exchange. We can be exchanging the oil to be getting this one from here, or we can be exchanging the liquid alloy to be getting 13 of the alloy particle. But personally, I'll say it's better to not use the liquid alloy because it's going to be needed in other areas. And also we can be getting these ones once we go into the alloy. We're going to be having an extra thing have got added, which is, let's, it's the alloy tech plan. This one, it's required to be, you know, it's finishing the capture beast, the dailies, collecting AB, and you can be buying it with diamonds. And then this is going to be counted here as experience. And we can be collecting this one from here. And it's reset every two weeks. And there is also the bait version, which is for, I think it's $10. Check it out. Yeah, it's $10. And the max of it going to be giving you a total of 263 of the alloy article, along with the research speed up and amount of diamonds. Personally, I say it's really a good offer to be actually getting it since when we're using the alloy material, it's going to be extremely tough. And then to be upgrading these two buildings, we will be using the liquid alloy and big amount of resources. And at the same time, we'll be needing to be making the HQ reach alloy level 2 to be able to actually start working on these buildings. And to be making it, then it's on five different levels five different upgrades and the fighter training ground we can be upgrading it as well to the alloy and when we upgrade it to alloy level one then we're going to be able to recruit tier 11 i can start already working on this one now but i'm waiting for some events so this is really really going to be getting more exciting especially looking to all the things we're going to be getting more strength from it around the game over here, as an example, we're increasing the enhanced armor 
the defending or the range defense are going to be even more stronger. The rally capacity as well going to be increased than we have. The higher we go, the better we're going to get. The training cost going to be even reduced which is one of the most important things that I truly like in here. And then we have in the fighter, which is going to be helping to be increasing the command, as well as other aspects here to the Alloy Guardian, unlock the powerful tier 11, which is the one we're going to need to be able to have the tier 11 unlock in all the three directions. It's in this one here. So we need to be working on this one before we can go over here. So basically, we're going to be needing to max the 5 in here before we can go to tier 11. It's really a long way to go, but it's going to be indeed worth it. So yeah, that's all guys for this video and what coming when you are in the Alloy level 1, which building's going to be upgraded to Alloy 1. We got all the training ground going to be upgraded to Alloy 1. The resources building's not going to be upgraded. The warehouse not going to be upgraded. It's just the training ground as well as the HQ and the alloy lab. And, and that's all. So that's all guys for this video. I hope you're all going to be able to enjoy it and understand what's waiting for you once you are in the alloy level one. What's challenging going to be waiting for you to be able to improve and go further into the game. For now, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel to not miss any of my videos in the future. Till then, take care and enjoy your game.